Okay, now let's look at this example. Find the area of the shaded region by the curve y equal to x cubed and the lines y equal to x. So we have y equal to x cubed here. Okay. And then y equal to x, this straight line here. So we need to find the area bounded by these two regions. So we have the uh, region 1 here. Okay. And we have this second region here. So be careful in this case since we have two regions and then if you can see here, both regions have different upper and lower curve. Alright, so first let's find the point of intersection first. Okay, so I have uh, x cubed equal to x. So if I bring both uh, this on the left side, I have x cubed minus x equal to 0. I factorize here. So from here, we get x equal to 0, negative 1 and 1. So we have the point of intersection here, like this one this one and this one so here is x equal to negative one here x equal to zero and here is x equal to one so how to find the area So this time, area equal to R1 plus R2. First region plus the second region. Okay, so for the first region, we will integrate from negative 1 to 0. And then which one is our upper curve? So we can see here in the first region here, x cube is your upper curve. So we have x cube minus y equal to x is your lower curve here okay so minus x dx and then plus for the second region we integrate from 0 to 1 in this case straight line is your upper curve okay it means that x minus x cubed okay so x cubed here is your lower curve Okay, now we evaluate the integral, so we should have x power 4 minus 4, x over 4 minus x square over 2. So from negative 1 to 0 plus x square over 2 minus x power 4 over 4. This one is from 0 to one. So we substitute the limit of course substitute zero. You will have everything zero minus and then you have negative one power four over four and then negative one square over two and then plus one over two minus one over four minus zero. Okay, so what we have here, negative 1 power 4 is 1 over 4. So we have negative 1 over 4. And this one is positive half, so we have negative set to per 2. Okay, and then we plus with half minus 1 over 4. So what is the total area here? So we have 1 over 4 minus half is a uh, negative 1 over 4. So negative, negative, positive 1 over 4. And then half minus uh, 1 over 4. So it should be 1 over 4. So you have 2 over 4 which is equal to 1 over 2 unit square. Alright. 
let's look at this example. Find the area of the region that bounded by the curve y equal to 2 square root x and the line y equal to x minus 3 in the first quadrant. So we have the straight line here. Okay, if you sketch the uh, this line here, y equal to x cube, then you will have this straight line here. Y equal to sorry, y equal to x minus uh, three. And then this is for y equal to two square root x uh, radical function. Okay, so in the first quadrant means that at this part lah. Okay, first quadrant. So where is the uh, area of this region? Okay, so the area of the region that bounded by these two curves in the first quadrant, of course, this area lah. Okay, means that if I plot properly, then I shaded the region. So this should be our region here. Okay, so how to find the um, area here? So in this case, we need to uh, do uh, some uh, different alternative, okay? Because uh, we can see here, we have a different shape uh, of the region that we have here, okay? Alright, so the first step, let's find the uh, intersection point. Okay, what is the intersection point here? Alright. So, we calculate the intersection point. So we have uh, y equal to 2 x uh, square root x and y equal to x minus 3. So if I equate these two, so I should have 2 square root x over, sorry, equal to x minus 3. And then we solve this. Okay, so from here, I should have, if I square everything here, so I should have x square minus 6x plus 9 over 4, alright? Then if I bring everything and I equate to 0, so I should have um, x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to 4x okay i multiply 4 on both side here all right and then i should have x square minus 10x plus 9 equal to 0. so if i factorize this i should get x x minus 9 minus 1 which give me x equal to 9 and also x equal to 1. So x equal to 1 is somewhere here. So it means that this intersection is actually here is x equal to 9. Alright. Then here is um, from the straight line. Okay, from this straight line y equal to x minus 3 so we know that this value uh, this value here when y equal to 0 okay so x equal to 3 here so if you can see here in order to find um, this region actually we must do uh, the area is actually we must do minus okay we must do minus the region bounded by all here okay and then minus the triangle here 
okay so let's find the whole area first the whole area first means that let's find the integration from 0 to 9 below this curve okay below this curve here okay below this curve means that 2 x power half dx okay So in this case, I should get, if I evaluate this integral here, I should get 2 x, so half plus 1, so 3 over 2, divide with 3 over 2 from 0 to 9, okay? And so it gives me 4 over 3 x power uh, 3 over 2 0 9 okay then from here I should have a equal to 4 over 3 9 3 over 2 minus 0 okay so what should I have here is um, 4 over 3 9 square root power 3 here so this will give me okay so square root um, is 3 3 power 3 is 27 divided by 3, so 9, 9 plus 4 is a 36 unit square. So this is only for A. This is the value for A. Where is my A? A is everything here. Okay. This is A. Okay. This is A. But we only want the R here. So this is not the, this is not the final answer. All right. Okay, we already get A equal to 36 unit square, but this is not the region that we want, okay? A is uh, everything here from this curve until the x axis here. So, in uh, from this curve until the x axis here. In order to find our R, okay, we must do minus with this triangle, okay? We must do minus with this triangle here. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so previously we get A equal to 36 unit square. So now let's calculate the triangle. The area of triangle, remember area of triangle is half time with base time with height. Okay, so we have half time with, what is base? Base is here. So this is base. So base is 9 minus 3 and then time with height here. Okay. So we have the height here. So what is the value here? Okay. So what is the value here? Since we know that x here is 9. Okay. So we know that x equal to 9. Therefore y equal to 9 minus 3 equal to 6. So height is 6. So we get the area of a triangle is 6 times 6, which is 6 times 6, 36. Okay. So 36 divided by 2, here we get 18 unit square. So therefore, the area for R is actually A minus the triangle, which is 36 unit square minus 18 units square. So, 
we get the solution is actually r is equal to 18 units square so this is the area represented by this r okay So I think that's all. So you may try to solve the tutorial and also uh, this test understanding also I uh, pick several problems from the tutorial. So please have uh, your own um, exercise. Please uh, practice. If you have any problem, do not hesitate to uh, WhatsApp your uh, lecturer. Okay, thank you.